Today we're talking about this really cool power plate from ZG Cine that uses Sony MPF batteries and if you're like me, you probably have tons of these batteries just lying around from monitors to lights. They're really popular with filmmaking accessories, especially indie filmmaking accessories. So what's unique about this specific power plate, because power plates have been around for MPF batteries for a while, but typically they've just been traditional power. This one will actually let you not only charge the Sony MPF battery over for power delivery via its USB-C input, but it also has a USB-C output for power delivery, a USB-A output, and a D-tap. So it kind of turns your old MPF batteries into V-mount batteries because if you take one of these older Sony MPF batteries, it actually has slightly more power than 95 watt, 98 watt hour V-mount batteries and are way cheaper. So by putting this battery with this combo, you have the power of a V-mount battery for a fraction of the price of the cheapest V-mount battery you could buy. So in the end, this is an indie filmmaker's dream. The back of it actually has a quarter inch thread. Now, I think a lot of people will use the quarter inch thread to maybe hook it up to a hot shoe on their cage or their camera. My recommendation though, is I actually have this V-mount style quick release plate, which I literally just stick on the back of this MPF plate. And it kind of turns this thing into a mini V-mount type battery, which is great because on my Canon R7 setup, I've been using that non-powered cheese wedge to have my ZG Cine battery on the back and power my R7 via power delivery. But now I don't have to use my V-mount, I can use that for something else, and I could use this plate, that's a fraction of the price, and powers it for just as long as that V-mount battery does. The reason I would absolutely recommend this is if you need portable power for your cameras or you need just portable power in general but you don't want to pay a heavy price, the fact that not only does this have USB-C power delivery but it also has D-tap out from cheap Sony MPF batteries is frugal, it's amazing. The only negative I would say is charging this thing via my 30 watt charger which probably makes sense in the end isn't the quickest. It took quite a few hours to do so. I think it took about three hours, maybe four hours to charge this battery. However, the prices and features you get from using this combination are absolutely fantastic, especially because this 970, you get just as much juice as some of these smaller V-mounts. Now, I have tested some of the really small Sony MPF batteries, and I think my recommendation is if you're just going to power the camera and nothing else, and you only need like an hour's extra boost, then you can use something like these super small MPF batteries. And by using a smaller MPF battery, it obviously makes this plate really small, but you're only gonna end up getting an extra hour's worth of power if you're using it on something like an R7. So it isn't the biggest boost. Now the MPF 750, which is between those two, I think is a good middle ground because it's not quite as big and it gives you almost as much power as a smaller V-mount, not quite as much, but it may be enough for your uses. I stick with the bigger ones because not only am I powering my camera, but I'm using these to sometimes power an accessory or power a monitor. And I think if you're going to do that, you're gonna power multiple accessories, definitely get the bigger MPF batteries. That way you have a decent amount of power and they're really inexpensive. I'll have a link to this one I use from Castar in the description below. I'll also have a link to everything I spoke about today in the description below because in the end, the whole point of this is you have a smaller setup than a V-mount battery. How much smaller this battery is compared to already this really small V-mount battery from Core SWX. So the fact that you get the D-tap out, you also have USB-C power delivery, it just simplifies what you need to bring with you. I'm gonna be doing a video soon here on the channel on why I'm moving all of my cameras and filmmaking gear to USB-C power delivery. When that video comes out, I'll make sure to put a link to it in the description below. But if you have any questions on this power plate, on the batteries I'm using, feel free to put them in the comments below. If you have any ideas on videos you wanna see using this combination, also let me know there as well. And if you got knowledge and value out of today's video, please make sure to hit that like, subscribe, and notification bell to keep up to date with the latest videos on the channel. Until next time, my name's Jeff Fagan. Thank you for watching, everybody, and I will see you in the next video.